finally, 10 minutes to make a video, maybe 20. Yeah, 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 this, I, and I, I do apologise, this video should have come out maybe two weeks ago. I, I am a very, very busy, I am very, very highly in demand, what can I say? Anyway, welcome back to Next With Me, Danny. Uh, no guess, I have literally managed to grab a teeny bit of time to film this video because I got sent through a lovely care package by the guys at Puma and Canoe, thank you very much. Now. Uh, we've had Puma on before, sometimes some good stuff, sometimes some not so good stuff and we're, like I say, we're, we're honest, the Puma Rude stuff that came through, do you know, like, not for me. But I saw these being previewed, I think it could have been on the size previews with Luke and Binzi, I can't remember now, I might have seen it there, I might not, so forgive me if I'm wrong. So we've got some size, I think they're all, ex I think they're all size exclusives, in fact they are size exclusives. Pumas. There's three pairs, so I'm going to smash through them uh, as much as possible. Uh, first up, we've got some Puma Bluebird Amsterdams. So let's have a look in here. And we've got like a lovely note. Thank you, guys, from Puma and Size. It says, Hi, Danny. Hello. Uh, Puma Bluebird returns as part of Puma's new introduction to the archive releases. Uh, styles that emerged from terrace culture in the UK back in the late 70s. And this is one of the things why I was keen to get my hands on these. I will accept all sorts of trainers and I'll try to give you positive reviews or, or, or reviews of them. But I want to get stuff that I'm interested in that'll interest you guys. Especially you Addie boys out there who cry when the night stuff comes. I actually think a lot of this could be up your street. So I, you know, I don't get paid to promote it. I like to get the stuff to show you to try and or, you know, open your eyes and mind a little bit. Puma stay true to the classic. The issue silhouettes pay homage to the originals of the era, blah, blah, blah. Based on the classic 1982 indoor training shoe, the Puma Bluebird is referenced to Cardiff City FC's name, the Bluebirds. I never knew that when the shoe soon became a lifestyle staple in the early 80s. The Puma Bluebird Amsterdam was directly inspired by Puma's yeah, Cruyff Royal, the signature shoe for Johan Cruyff. And this all makes sense. Uh, now available at size official. I think this stun, I think these will still be available. Here we go. Check these bad boys out. Oh, let's move the uh, move the blue laces. Oh, what's in about these? Now, like I say, I, I I've had Puma. What were the last Pumas I bought myself? I got the Rudolph Dazzlers a couple of years ago, the 50th anniversary ones. And I missed out on a couple of other Pumas. I really wanted the... Oh, I've forgotten what collaboration it is now. Find a picture, I'll pop a picture up. The skate collaboration. My mind's gone blank. Oh. So yeah, I'm. Uh, these are really nice. Obviously, a, let's be honest, a little bit bright. Yeah, the orange and blue. But Johan Cruyff, Holland, Amsterdam. Perfect. Uh, I love the gum sole. Gum sole and I love the... Uh, the kind of puma signs that follow, if they are puma signs, I'm not too sure if they are, but I'm going to make up that they are. Yeah, a really good, just a, just a good, a good shoe. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I might drop the blue laces in and some pictures and drop, drop them in. Oh, one thing, I have teased these on my Instagram and a lot of people say, now, nah, how do they fit the size? So I'm going to give you some sizing advice so then you can go, I don't know if, like I say, I've grabbed literally 20 minutes to film. And then I'm going to edit when I'm like on the train and stuff. Like that. So these are size 8. I'm a size 8. And if I'm being honest, they may be fit. They're a little bit... They're a little bit roomy for my liking in a size 8. I might be a little go down half, but they're probably okay to be honest. So don't go up, true to size, or half down maybe. It's hard to say it when they're just... I would probably go half down myself, only because this, they've got like a leather lining and I don't like tying my shoelaces, I like my shoes like open, if possible. But yeah, look at the shape, the shape's really good on those. So those are the Amsterdams, we'll pop those to one side. Uh, next up we've got, oh now, these ones. Dear Danny again, or oh, hi Danny, hi, hi guys. 
It's another bluebird, so it says all the same thing. The New York City colorway is based on a one-off shoe made for American football quarterback, Hall of Famer, Joel Namath in the 1970s. I don't really watch it, so I can't say anything on that. Now I have seen these, and a lot of people have picked these up, because these, I believe, are one of 500. Check these bad boys out. And as you can see, mine are pair 50 of 500. Now I have seen a lot of the Addy boys jumping on these. What can I say? I've got to be honest, when I first saw them in pictures, I thought, mm, do you know what, not for me at all. Just, someone said it on, on my Instagram, temping bowling shoes, which I get a little bit, but again, in hand, when you pick them up, the suede's not that suede, that's gonna like change as you move it or anything like that. Uh, you get a nice leather Puma logo. But I do like the off-white sole, so look, the sole's just a little bit creamy. I've got to be honest, not a pair I would constantly wear every day. I have seen people wear them and wear them really well, but not massively in my style. But I'm guessing these are going to size up exactly the same as the other ones, I'll just double check. You never know what that material is, but they're suede as well. And I don't know if there's any of these left, because there's only five, 500 pairs. So everybody who's chasing all the hypes. Oh, so these fit a bit more snug. How bizarre. So these are size eight as well. And these are perfect for me. There we go. I am working on the hamstrings just to try to get my, my leg up. Not leg over, uh, all you people who, who say stuff like that. Oh, do you know what I'm gonna say? I like them when I put them on. I actually, I actually think they look, look pretty cool on foot, and, or foot in the air anyway. So they're the New Yorks. How weird that they fit slightly different. They're definitely more roomier these, and it's not just because the laces are a bit loose. They're just even on the end. Odd. Uh, and then the final pair. Got some Madrid Londons. Now I've got to be honest, when I first saw the pack, these were the ones that absolutely excited me. Hi Danny, once again. Uh, the Puma Madrid returns as part of Puma's new introduction to the archival releases, styles that emerge from terrorist culture, blah, 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 blah. The first Madrid release documented by Puma dates back to 1983. Not quite a vintage year, I'd always say 82 is a vintage year, obviously. And takes its colour inspiration from the Madrid coat of arms. I didn't know that. Uh, the rich purple and orange featured in the reissued Madrid London is a nod to the colours associated with the Jubilee line that runs through the city. Puma Madrid London available on our sites now. For me, let's break these ones out. Now check these bad boys out. Oh, what we're saying about these. Now for me, these are the pick of the pack. I've got to say, I do, like, I put those on and I think, hmm, actually they look pretty cool on. But these, I mean, pur purple and orange, does purple and orange just not go so well? Do you know, I can't think of a shoe that's purple and orange that don't bang. Hmm, let me know in the comments if you can think of a purple and orange shoe that, uh, that's a bit rubbish. But what I like about these is, I love, I love the gum sole, and I love that it's just that little bit translucent as well, It's if you can see. It's not like a thick gum sole, it is a little bit see-through. Um, I love the toe, I think, hello? I love the shape on the toe as well. Yeah, that's a lot nicer than the bluebirds for me. And I, 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 was, I was actually gonna buy a pair of these myself. It's hard, isn't it? Because we're a bit, I don't know, are they GR? A little bit of a GR. And I had this conversation with someone the other day, I can't remember who it was. Somebody on Instagram kind of said like, oh, you don't pick up GRs. And the only reason is it's not because of, if there's limited stuff coming out, then you've almost got to go for it because you don't, you don't get a second chance. And there's so much stuff coming out at the minute, it's hard to then go back and pick up stuff like this. Do you know? And especially like with COVID, I mean, who goes to shops and browses? Because I don't anymore. I go to the shops to get what I want. I don't really go and browse because why would you put yourself in that situation just to like have a mooch around? You know, if I go into Leeds or 
if I go to London. By the way, I'm in London this weekend. If anyone wants to come down, London, Saturday morning, lunchtime. I am free as a bird. Free as a blue, oh, I should have used free as a bluebird, shouldn't I? Oh, but I'm in London, weird. So yeah, if you wanna, I'm gonna go to the new Adidas original store. That looks class with the Special pool table. Oh my God, I'm definitely, if anyone wants to come and get seven balls on Saturday, give me a shout. Obviously there's gonna be six of us at one point. Or whatever the rules out at the minute. Oh yeah, ah, oh, now these, these are true to size, definitely. They remind me a little bit, like terrace, but a bit, you could probably go skating in these, I'm not even gonna lie. But yeah, like, like, like these. And the shape's really good. Mm. These are bangers. If, if you're looking for something, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna say just to beat up, but winter, just to wear over winter, just a GR release that you're just gonna love and enjoy. And that's what, wear all your trainers. I was rocking these yesterday. Do you know, it's autumn, but do you know, like, wear your trainers. Do you know what I mean? They're there to be worn, don't just put them on a shelf and just, like, admire. I mean, if that's what you're into, fair enough. But I like to wear my shoes, so. Big props to Size and Canoe and Puma for sending through this pack. Um, like I said, I try to get stuff that I know you guys will like. Uh, especially, like, you know, I, I'm not stupid. We have a met oh, we. I have a massive Adidas following. I completely get that. I do all the special stuff. Do you know, I'm getting my Havanas this weekend, so there'll be a, a Havana video probably Monday or something like that. I try to do stuff, all those kind of bits. So I get it. These are right up your street. When I do a night dunk video, if I do an Air Max one or something slightly different, I get that people, less people watch and less people are interested, which is fine. But I think these, I was trying to get these because I wanted to show you that these are right up, especially for you Addy boys, they are right up your street. So go into size, check them out and you know, just pick up, well, I'm not telling you to pick up there, but why not? If you like them, pick up there, get something different, you know, like, and that's what I always say about me is, eclectic taste someone said something to me the other day i can't remember what exactly it was and i just replied yeah i like everything yeah i like special stuff yes i like sns gt yes i'll pick up dunks yes i'm definitely picking up some air max 90 infrareds which i think is the 9th of november i've seen a date don't hold me to that but i think it is yes i'll wear these pumas 100 percent um and just yeah variety is the spice of life isn't it who wants vanilla there we go. Right, I'm running out of time and I need to edit this and then I'll put it out. So I think that's everything. Uh, I can't think of what else. We've got Havana coming out. We've got uh, Infrared 90s. Oh, Atmos Elephant Nike SB Dunks. Don't know the date. Someone said at some point in November, so keep an eye out for those. I'll try and do a couple more videos before then. I have got a bit more time off work, so I'll try and do some more like live streams and things like that. Thanks to everybody who supports, likes the channel, blah, blah, blah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, blah. I said blah, blah, blah twice, don't know why. See you next time, Alex. Bye.